Korea's music industry is worth billions of dollars. Look at you, now look at me. How you like that? Make some noise for BTS. This band is its best known export. So my mum, she was you know, going through the internet and saw the news where a Korean like boy band was on like AMAs, which is like big sort of American TV sort of show. Ever since then, I was really just looking up BTS and all this K-pop stuff and I just got really into it. Jake Sim was born in Korea, but grew up far from the bright lights of Seoul. I'm from Brisbane and Cairns, so like Queensland. When I was young, I went fishing like every day. I went out swimming every day. While on holiday with his parents in Korea, he auditioned for a major label. He finished term one of grade 11 in Brisbane, then took his spot on a reality show competing to join a boy band. Once lived a happy little Aussie boy named Jake. But one day, he felt a spark in his heart which grew into a dream. And from then, his hard and lonely journey to Ireland began. There was a lot of other trainees that had a lot more experience than me and they were trainees for a long time. I was just learning so much from them. My mindset was just to sort of, I just thought it would be a good experience. I'm just very happy and so glad that I was able to debut through it. Jake came third and is now signed with the same company as his idols in BTS. He's a member of Inhypen. Its music has been streamed hundreds of millions of times. We went on world tour end of last year and just seeing a lot of fans so happy makes me so happy as well and you know I just realised that what I do can sort of spread a lot of positive energy and just I just love that about my job. It can be tough. The industry's artists are subject to rigorous dance and vocal training and held to high standards by their labels and fans. They're training in a very high intensity environment, pretty much you know, working non-stop around the clock. And it would just be, I imagine, very exhausting um, and ultimately also very rewarding. Jenna Guillaume is the writer behind weekly newsletter Let's Talk K-Pop. She's watched with pride as Australians make it in Korea. It's such a competitive industry, it's probably even harder to get into than the American music industry, which is notoriously hard, I would say. Um, so, you know, we have quite a contingent of Australians in K-Pop now and it's really exciting. Two members of band Stray Kids grew up down under. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. mate. As did two members of girl group New Jeans. There's even Aussie representation in global phenomenon Blackpink, the most streamed female group on Spotify. Singer Rose grew up in Melbourne. We tend to get really excited when Australians get noticed overseas and get famous overseas. And so it would be really nice to see that kind of attention for these K-pop stars as well because they're so awesome and doing amazing things and should be celebrated by their home country. As well as talent, Australia offers K-pop a huge and highly dedicated fan base ready to spend big. We've had at least one album that they make, which comes with a CD, comes with a photo book, comes with um, photo cards. Danielle Peters and Kit Moore are buying a Stray Kids album. Manifesting Aussie line. Oh, yeah. Aussie line. Aussie line. Aussie line. <laughs> they hope it comes with photo cards of the band's Australian members. Gonna be... Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Kit is a super fan. The student costume designer sews replicas of their idols' outfits to wear to K-pop concerts. They've even got a Stray Kids-inspired tattoo. Song Salos is from one of their albums and they played at the end of their concerts during the Maniac tour. And it's just like a really emotional but like happy, like good vibes song. They just kind of dance around and be goofy on stage. Salos, Salos. 
I think K-pop hooks people because it's so all-consuming. You can get totally lost in it. After a 10-month hiatus, in Hypen released its fourth mini album this week. There's a lot of ups and downs doing what I do, but um, it always um, sort of pays off. If I can do it, all of you guys can do it. Just don't be scared. Just take your chance and just go for it. Just